Hello, this is the homework solution for the sequence 1.1 ready, set, and go. So we have here the 1.1 ready. The question asks us to identify which of the three possible numbers is the solution to the equation. Right Here we have number one, here is the equation. You have three potential numbers that we can plug in for x. Okay, x equals negative 2, x equals to 2, and x equals to 5. If you can't see the equation and the numbers, make sure you uh, full screen the video so you can see it. All right, so we're going to test it out. So what it means for it to be in solution to the equation is that the when you plug it in, the left expression has to be equal to the right expression. Let me show you. Let me plug in the first one. x equals to negative 2. Okay. Once I plug it in, I can simplify. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 7. Simplify. The left-hand expression was 1, and the right-hand ex the left-hand expression was 1, and the right-hand expression was 13. Do you see how the left-hand expression does not equal to the right-hand expression? When they are not equal, you would say it is not a solution. That is why it is an equal sign with the hash going across it. Next. Okay, uh, we're going to test out uh, 2. Okay, I plug in 2, right? Simplify, it's 13 equals to 13. Left-hand expression equals to right-hand expression. That works, so we will say that's the solution. Okay, test out the next one. Test out 5. 22 does not equal to 13, so we will say that is not a solution. Okay, so the only one that is a solution, okay, the only one that is the solution would be the 2 here. That is the only one that is a solution. Okay. Good. All right. Next, let's look at 2. 8 minus 2b equals to negative 2. All right. Plug in the first one. I plug in negative 3. 14 does not equal to 2. Plug in 0. 8 does not equal to negative 2. Plug in 5. Negative 2 does equal to negative 2. So we will say that this would be the solution. Next one, let's see. We have 3 here. 5 plus 4g plus 8 equals to 1. You you can simplify this. 5 plus 8 would be 13. All right, plug in negative 3 for g. Right? The left-hand side does match the right-hand side of 1, so we would say that is solution. All right, we check the other ones. Not a solution. Check the other one. Not a solution. Okay. Next, let's look at 4. We test out 4. We plug it in. Again, here, 4 is substituting for the T here and the T here. Okay. If you want to make your life easier, you combine the like terms. 6T plus 5T would be 11T. Okay. Simplify the expression. 39 does not equal to 105. Plug in 7. 72 does not equal to 105. And blue. 105 does equal to 105. So 10 does work. So we would say that 10 is the solution here. All right. That's good. So let's do the next one. Uh, also here, it asks us to determine the Y value of each order pair based on the given X value. Here, right? They wanted to test us these points. Here, we're just trying to find the y value or the output given an x value, which is the input. Okay, so here, this is in order pair format, right? X comma something, negative one comma something, and five comma something. This is in order pair format. Okay, all right. So plug in the eight. We're going to test out the first one. Simplify y equals to thirty-three. So the order pair here is eight comma thirty-three. Next one, plug in negative 1 here, simplify, you get y equals to negative 21. So the order pair is negative 1, comma, negative 21. Next one, we plug in the 5, y equals to 15, so the order pair would be 5, comma, 15. Right? So, notice how every single input has an exactly one output. Let's do that again. This time we plug in negative 5 for n for x, we get 29 for y, that's the order pair, 5 comma 29. Plug in the 2 here, simplify, you get 1, the order pair is 2 comma 1. Plug in the 4, you get y equals to negative 7, the order pair is 4 comma negative 7. Good, 
let's look at 7 now. All right. Here's the equation. We are testing out negative 4. So plug in negative 4. You simplify. Y equals to negative 9. So the order pair is negative 4, comma, negative 9. Next one, we plug in 0. Simplify. Y equals to negative 1. The order pair is 0, comma, negative 1. Plug in 7, you get y equals to negative 1, so the order pair is 7, 13. 8. Plug in negative 9 like always, okay? y equals to 18 after you simplify, the order pair is negative 9, 18. Plug in 1 here, negative 1 plus 9 is y equals to 8, so the order pair is 1, 8. y equals negative 5 because you're plugging in 5 here, plus 9, simplify, y equals to 4, so the order pair is 5, 4. Good, okay. Alright, so let's look at this. Okay, now here they ask us to fill in the table, then write a sentence explaining how you figure out the values to put in each cell. You run a business uh, making birdhouses. You spend zero, uh, $600 to start your business. This is the keyword start your business, right? And it costs you $5 each, okay, uh, to make your birdhouse. So on your chart, I think you see this, okay? But always try to make a zero, okay? The zero refers to as the starting point. This is why I always, I always do it, starting point, okay? The starting point is always zero, okay? Right? Because nothing has happened yet, right? So I tend to do that. So at zero, you start at $600, right? Because that is what the idea of start is. Does, does, that, does that make sense? That is why it's zero. So each time, it costs you $50 to make each. Look at the keyword each here. Okay, Each is your rate here. So each time here, it is increasing by one. No, increasing by five each time. Okay, It goes from 600, 605, 610. So here's my explanation. The cost starts at $600. Then it increased by $5 for each additional birdhouse. Good. Next one, you make $15 payments on your loan of $500 at the end of each month. Okay? So, again, right? your loan is at $500. That is important. And you make a $15 payment. Okay? Make sure that you understand that the loan is how much you owe. Okay? So, at the start, you owe $500. Once you make a $15 payment at the end of the month, your loan decreases in value. So you owe less money. So you decrease. Okay? There is a decrease of 15 each time. 500 to 485 to 470 to 555. So my explanation is the loan starts at $500 and is reduced each month by $15 due to making payments. Next, they say you deposit $10 in a savings account at the end of each week. Notice here that there is no starting there is no starting value here notice there's no starting value here because there is no starting value at zero it is zero okay at zero there is zero value here good now so each end of the week you put ten more dollars so from first week you put in ten dollars second week you put another ten so that becomes twenty third week it becomes thirty so at the start, there is a balance of zero dollars, and each month, right? And each month, it increase by ten dollars because of the deposit. Next, you are saving for a bike and can save ten dollars per week. You have twenty-five dollars when you begin savings. Look at this one, okay? The keyword here is beginning saving. So that's why at zero, which is the beginning, you start with twenty-five dollars each time you put 10 more dollars in so the rate that this is increasing okay is ten dollars so you start at 25 goes up by 10 to 35 goes up by 10 to 45 so here's my explanation you start with 25 dollars and increase by ten dollars for every single week okay next it says graph the order pair from the table on the given graph okay you have 13 14 15 and 16 right my recommendation is to actually wrote right points here or values like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So for me to do this, I'm gonna grab this in paint. Okay. You should see this in paint, right? Can you see it? All right. Good. All right. All right. So let's grab some points here. Let's make that red. 
fill that in with red circle uh, good fill in solid all right zero zero three one two three two one two seven two one two three four five six seven that zero no that's two seven three one two three nine one two three four five six seven eight nine 15 5 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 go up 15 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 all right there you go so let's grab this image delete this boom there you go all right That was bad. So, okay, good. All right, let's do this one. Zero fourteen zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen. Okay, four ten one two three four. Right, that's your X. Then ten up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Let's grab this image. Okay, delete that. Paste that in. There you go. All right. Boom. This is 15. 2, 11. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. 4, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 6, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There you go. That's for that one. Let's grab 16. Uh, one, four. So one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Two, seven. One, two, two, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, ten. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, thirteen, one, two, three, four, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There you go. All right, all right. We just counted all the points. There you go. And that is that completes your ready set go for the sequence of one point one.